Hey everybody, John Granado and Lance Zerline from the bench. Mornings on ESPN 97.5. Let's talk some Texans football. David Johnson wants to silence the haters on the Hopkins trade. And there are a lot of those. Early reports are he looks great in camp. If DJ can turn into a thousand thousand guy, what's the ceiling on the Texans offense, Lance? Top three, top four offense in the league. Really? Because... We've had 1,000-yard rushers here. Maybe not 1,000-yard receivers thousand, as thousand? well. 1,000? 1,000 is I mean, a big number. If you give him 1,000, 1,000, A, that's a ton of checkdowns for Deshaun Watson. I still think if he goes 1,000, 1,000, then there is a decent chance that Deshaun Watson in the offense has been efficient. Um, I don't love checkdowns typically, but those are going to be completions. Yeah. They're going to be a higher percentage I, of completions. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's any chance he's a thousand thousand guy because first of all, he's not going to be on the field that don't much. Don't ask he's, the question, he's, John. He, don't ask that question. Then. Injury prone. He's been I, 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 a thousand thousand. I think is all right. Is, all right. Is, let me flip it on. Let me flip it on you. What if I want a thousand six hundred? And then we 1,000 yards rushing, 600 receiving, and then we went with a grand total rushing, receiving touchdowns of 10 for David Johnson. Where are you then? Then I think that the wide receivers would be uh, neglected, and Duke Johnson is also going to be a big part of the offense. So, uh, I mean, I think you're going to be David Johnson-centric, and David Johnson um, is – I don't know that David Johnson can carry an offense. Like a Chris, I mean, a Christian McCaffrey, yeah. I see that. I can see that. I don't see a David Johnson being that kind of guy. I don't think I want to live in a world where David Johnson is getting that much, that much, that much, uh, uh, that many carries. But he did carry a team like that in '16. He was he, carrying yeah, the car. That was again. That was four years ago, and long before he had all his injury issues. Okay. So but if he does I, that, if he yeah, does, not that. only that, but I want playmakers like Brandon Cooks, Will Fuller, Randall Cobb. Even Darren Fells, Duke Johnson. I think they got a lot of – I think they spread it out quite a bit. I don't think David Johnson has to carry a bulk of the load. And if you want to know the truth, I don't think David Johnson is going to be able to uh, silence the haters because he's not going to have big, huge numbers this year because there are so many different weapons and people are still going to look at the DeAndre Hopkins trade like it was a very bad deal. Here's where I'm going to tell you that I'm, I'm going to disagree with you for, on the standpoint of is it possible. Here's why I think it is. You're not going to have the same amount of catches, you know, targets, catches, and yards for DeAndre Hopkins. He's gone. That's going to go somewhere. Let's say some of those do go to the – because we saw a 1,000-yard season with Carlos Hyde, so it's certainly doable for David Johnson to have a 1,000-yard season rushing and for the passing numbers to still look very similar to what Watson had last year. He already did it. He did it last year. Let's say instead of Hyde, it's David Johnson, and instead of Deshaun, uh, I mean DeAndre Hopkins getting all those catches and yards – that some of them are going to go, you know, to other wide receivers, but then, you know, David Johnson gets some of those as well. I don't think it's. I, I think they could be mutually exclusive. I think David Johnson could go for a thousand and five hundred, and we still have no idea if the offense is really good or not that good. I'm not sure that it's a. I'm not sure it's a predictive model of how the offense is, to be honest.